I was trying to take a good photo of the LEX sign, but I thought I was recording and I wasn't. The alarm went off and I was like, oh my God, my vacation is starting this way. Look at that view. Wow, it's amazing. So the flight is from LAX to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. With a stopover in Dublin, where we pick up more passengers and we refuel. And then we um, go over to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. You know, the worst part about flying Ethiopian airlines was just the food. Not that it's nasty, but it's just I decided to get a um, special meal because I have issues with my stomach. And I did the gluten-free because I didn't, you know, there was no soy-free. Anyway, because I have a soy allergy or a intolerance for soy. So um, this was my snack. It was two little rice cakes. And it wasn't even big. Two rice cakes with a piece of very dry chicken on it with no mayo, no nothing, nothing, just that dry stuff. And then I dropped water on my um, seat and it smelled so bad. My feet weren't as swollen as I thought it was going to be because I wore new compression socks. So I was happy about that. The flight was around 18 hours and 40 minutes, almost 19 hours. Um, but my luggage was checked all the way through, so I didn't have to pick it up in Ethiopia. Um, and then the layover was only like three hours, three and a half hours. Not too bad, but um, the lines, as you can see, were very, very long. And whenever you're traveling, just make sure you have some good sunglasses because otherwise you look horrible like the next photo that I'm going to show you. I looked so bad. My eyes look so bad on the flight. So when I get off, I usually put on my sunglasses. So you'll see the stream of air or... Um, condensation whatever it was that scared the crap out of me because it, it happened right as we were lifting off and I was thinking not today I don't want to die so I recorded it again just to make sure and you know it was nothing it's probably just part of the plane or the hot air and the cold air but it really scared the crap out of me Whenever you get off the plane, this is like the first thing that you see, you know, because Cape Town is going through a water sh shortage. So um, it's posted everywhere and everybody's telling you to save water and just don't waste. You guys, Mario was waiting for me at the airport, even though he came from New York and he landed that morning, like around 11 in Cape Town. And he was waiting for me at the airport all that time and my flight landed around two and I didn't get through customs till about three o'clock, I think it was. So what a great friend I have. I was just so happy to see him. Mario and I always have to have a photo shoot wherever we go. <laughs> we have to take a photo shoot. I think it's just the way we are. But um, I stood in the middle of the street and took that those photos. And then we went to Food Inn because as soon as I usually land in Cape Town, I have to go there to get my roti. And um, just driving down the street just made me so happy to be back home. The streets are so narrow. People, they have McDonald's right there. Over there. <laughs> oh, sorry, bless you. Got that on film. Is it? <laughs> We 
were stuck in traffic forever on my way to my mom's house and then when I got there it was so nice to see my sister's baby he's so grown up then the next morning we went to um, go do the park run I don't know if anybody knows about this but it's apparently all over the world hey park run time <laughs> One day I want to go into these communities and take a photo or photos of the shacks and stuff. That's just somebody advertising for work. They're looking for work. And then I got some biltong. It's so good. It's like beef jerky, like South African jerky, but it's made out of different animals, not just beef. Mario and I went to go have lunch at the mall and it was so good. It wasn't too heavy, but um, it was a huge meal for me coming off of an international flight. And then later that night, we flew over to Johannesburg um, to catch our flight to Mauritius. Someone is actually suggesting to me that we must hire a car.
Uh, I come to pick you here at 9.30 in the morning, and then we go here to the island to do the oh, yeah. 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 And then you stay three hours here. It's not so many people in the morning. Yeah. And then you see all the catamaran. It's about 1,000 people on the island. And then we go to the waterfall. Mm -hmm. And you bring just one banana, because on the waterfall we can have some monkey. You know? Oh. You can give them, yeah. 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 You know? I want to see you some video. Then we're going to Tortos Island to make the barbecue. Over there we make music on the beach, mm -hmm. you know, barbecue with fish, chicken, and then drink everything you want. Yeah, you can have, uh, you know, beer, rum, yeah, wine, and then music, dancing, yeah. Raining, it's pouring, my love life is boring. <laughs> Apple butter jeans, boots. <laughs> <laughs> you guys this is where i almost drowned i was trying to record and the waves were getting like more um, intense and i was telling mario i don't feel comfortable i i feel like i'm out of control i don't like feeling out of control and he was saying just record you know and we were trying to have fun i was very very drunk and still trying to film and the waves coming and I think it was just way too much for me because as I was standing trying to film for Mario um, a wave came and it hit me and I fell I tried to recover by getting up and then my phone fell out of my hand and um, the good thing is I have an iPhone 10 so it is waterproof but my phone fell and I was trying to find my phone as the waves are coming in and you'll see it next. And then I just, I mean, I, I just tumbled and couldn't find my phone. I was screaming my phone. I was drunk. I was like crawling. That's when my, this darkness is when my phone was laying on the bottom of the ocean until Iodia said, there it is. And I grabbed it and you can hear Mario's laughter. After this, I didn't know I was still recording. But listen to this. Oh my god, I'm way too drunk. I can't feel. Oh my god, my god. Am I still filming? I think I am. So every day around two o'clock, three o'clock, it starts raining. It's raining. And um, probably because it's such a tropical area, or the weather is really tropical. It's very humid during the day, and I wasn't wearing any makeup at all. Um, unless it was like at night for dinner time and yeah if the rain though it feels so good it's such a refreshing feeling when the rain starts coming down and it's been hot all day and you're drunk and you're just relaxing <laughs> laying on the beach it was really nice <laughs> 